I've been inside TV outside St. Mary's Adam. Um, a lot of people around us, very disappointing. You know what, at half time I'm thinking 1 0 down. Um, probably going to see a lot of people red faced and steams between the years. And to a degree, we've still got a lot of that this afternoon. I mean, the YouTube channel matches the first half. Ugly. <laughs> That's exactly what it was. It was poor. Um, it was it was tasteless. Like, why are we playing like we did against when we were with Pule? Mm. The amount of times that we we went forward and then went back. It's just, why? Like, why couldn't we play against like we did against Tottenham? It's the same questions and the same problems all season. Backwards football, not so much proactive going forwards. It's like Pellegrino's gone, oh shit, I've run out of options, let's just play like Pule did. Mm. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> it's, it's ridiculous. Like and we go we go one nil down after a penalty. I mean, from where I sat, didn't look much of it to be honest. But you, what did you see of it? I was in I was I was quite close. It Hood tripped him up. Hoyt tripped him up. It's as simple as that. It was a penalty. Um, unfortunately that's how it goes. Everyone was like slating the referee for it, but it, it was a penalty. And you know what, Mike Dean, his <laughs> reputation goes before him. I'm thinking, you know, he, he's, he's going like this, he's going all other place. But, but Mike Dean would think he has an agenda of his own. Um, to be fair to him, he, he refed it quite uh, down, down, down the line today. I mean, funny, Mike Dean ruins football. Like, Mike Dean ruins football. Football is supposed to be a fast flowing game. How can you play fast flowing football when the referee goes, blows his whistle every five seconds? You can't play fast flowing football if your referee's like, oh no, sorry, uh, he's too weak uh, to win the ball, so we'll just give him a free kick. Like, the agenda that Mike Dean has against us is poor. Um, and I, I saw one of the fans run on the pitch after the game. I wouldn't be surprised if he wanted to deck Mike Dean, to be honest, because he ruined it. Or was, it, or was he directing that Pellegrino? <laughs> I mean, it's 13. 13's an unlucky number. Surely. It has to turn around on Saturday. One thing I will say is seven of the Saints players at full time just walked off the pitch. Mm. When you get paid that much amount of money, Prowse didn't do it, uh, Carrillo on his, on his debut and a couple of others like Hoiberg, they all come over, Stevens, they all come over to the other side and they, they applaud the fans. The others, you get paid like nearly 60k a week show some appreciation to the people that are actually sitting there and watching you and I think if you're watching them look we're 19th on the table if this continues we're certainly down there and you're looking at it seven of those eight of noise ten of those we'll walk away let's let's be honest let's be honest right let's be honest let's be honest right we've we've what, what changes have we done in the transfer window Carrillo admittedly the guy was billed as a person that would win balls in the air. Did you see him win a single ball in the Not air at all. today? Not one. The only thing that he impressed me with was his aggression. Like the aggression to slide the ball, get the ball and then move forward. But he's billed as, an, as a target man. But if you can't win a header, how are you a target man? <laughs> so I mean, we missed out on promise big time. Uh, like we we're struggling and he's broken promises this window but you know sat saturday away at the hawthorns bottom line is it we have to return <laughs> with three points but then again jay rodriguez has probably got a bee in his bonnet and so is daniel sturridge he's got a point to prove uh, and they're both fit uh, which is you know but what we did today in the second half is we actually played two strikers up front mm. and you saw the, the improvement. Shane Long come, uh, come off for Gabby Dini at the end. We had two strikers on the pitch. Why don't we start with two strikers? And another thing, we've invested money in the transfer window for Lamina and Buffal and who's Carrillo. Mm. Why aren't they playing? They're the most expensive players we've bought and we're not playing him. Davis has lost his legs. He's, um, it's, it's sad, it's sad. Like, I love Long to bits, but the, the guy, he has no support up front. How can you expect a player that will run his legs off for 19 minutes of football to do anything when he has no support whatsoever?